I was really hesitant to pin down this speech as I was faced with a pointed question. What have I done worthwhile to share with people? But then I realized everybody has a story to share. Every experience is unique. Therefore, every experience is worth sharing. Good evening, Toastmasters. Good evening. Good evening. I hail from a beautiful city called Bengaluru, which was once famous for its green cover. <laughs> Having lived all my life here, I take a moment to recognize Bengaluru for nourishing me all these years before I start talking about myself. Now, as I sat down to write this script, I decided not to narrate just random events from my life, but instead, I'll be narrating some of the learnings I have had, which will in turn give you an insight into who I am. <clears throat> so here they are. It's important to laugh at yourself. It is important to laugh more in general. I was educated in St. Joseph's Indian High School, a big and intimidating school for a shy and reticent kid that was me. As a kid, I had a protruded teeth, a really weird one. And as expected, I became the object of bullying. People made fun of me, called me names and whatnot. <laughs> School life was one like a hell, trust me. <clears throat> that is when I met one of my closest friends called Rahul, who would change my personality forever. He taught me the importance of laughing at oneself. Until then, I was way too rigid, peevish, fretful, whiny. I wouldn't take a joke on myself. But then he made me realize that things don't work that way in a school atmosphere. In his company, I developed a good sense of humor. Now when someone, someone came up to me and said, Hey Bugs Bunny, where had you been? <laughs> I immediately quipped saying, Yeah, I just finished having a couple of carrots. One more is remaining. Would you like to get it stuffed up to a race star? <laughs> <laughs> Not only did I develop the art of taking jokes on myself, but I also developed the art of pre -taught. This made me a light-hearted person in general. I started laughing more in life thereafter. I started taking jokes on myself. People started liking me. I started hanging out with the very same people I hated. School life was more fun now. <laughs> that is when I realized another important thing. That our experience of life is determined not so much by the situations that we are put through, but by how well we handle those situations. So this is again an important learning I have had. Coming to my next learning, I'll just narrate a few incidents from my life and I would like you guys to take a guess from it. I was a strike bowler for St. Joseph's. People thought I was reasonably good for my age. My coaches, in fact, put me into senior team as they had eye hopes on me. But I did not attend those training sessions. And I lost my place in the playing level because there was a lot of competition. And eventually I quit cricket. <clears throat> Back in my college, I was a really good chess player. I had no formal training, but I still could defeat a lot of top quality players. In one of these college tournaments, my finals was against a state player. I must say that I literally snatched defeat from the jaws of victory as I was complacent. I thought I had it. But I eventually lost the game. However, college captain took notice of my ability and he asked me to attend the training sessions. But I did not attend those training sessions. <laughs> now I am not even half as good as I used to be. <clears throat> I am also a reasonably good table tennis player. Uh, but back in my college, I was really good. I used to play with 100 rupees local bats, but I still defeated a lot of professional table tennis players who had represented state or district in some capacity. Again, folks from the college team asked me to change my bat as local bats were not allowed in the college tournaments, but I did not change it. <laughs> so I could just go on and on for another two or three minutes, but I'll leave it here. Any guesses? What's the learning here? Don't listen to people in authority. <laughs> Attitude and discipline are the key factors to whom you become in life. You may have all the skill in the world, you may have all the talent in the world, but you will reach nowhere in life if you do not have the right attitude. In my case, although I have had the skill and the talent to excel at various things in life, I have largely remained a really mediocre guy because I do not have the right attitude, which my dad keeps saying. <laughs> I have absolutely no issues in admitting to my mediocrity because if you want to improve in life, you need to have the courage to identify and accept your shortcomings. Only then can you improve in life. But anyways, I'm changing. I can sense that. I'm slowly moving away from seeking motivation in life to developing discipline. I say this with conviction because I've recently come up with my own website called Digital Sanskar in an attempt to create professional apertures for my passion. And trust me, I had to be super disciplined in order to get this site up and running. 
So I'm changing folks. Finally, I'd like to conclude by saying, laugh more, be positive, stay happy, have the right attitude and discipline in life, take risks, do not worry about failing because my friends, at the end of the day, you will have the best success story to talk about. Over to you, Anderson.